everyone, I'm Destroy Amarico and for today's outfit we're going to be trying a gothic vampire style from Punk Rave Australia with my own little twist. Uh, now before we get started I do have to let you know that everything today was sent to me as a gift but I'll always give you my honest opinion in every review. Also, if you could give us a subscribe, there's my channel and also the Punk Rave Australia channel, that would be really appreciated. Okay, so the first item for today and possibly the feature item of this set is the Gothic Dark Knight Heavy Metal Batwing cloak and the outfit that she's wearing right now is pretty much what we're going for but I'll talk about one change that we're going to make. Now in terms of sizes I am extra small to small as usual and if we scroll down to the description so the ladies dark knight heavy metal batwing cloak is made from cracked PU leather with lightweight chiffon fabric. The harness a round leather extended collar with adjustable drawstring roping, hollow out segments on shoulder front and back and main bodice area front and back connects to collar with high grade metal clips, wide wide design front chest with adjustable waist straps, leather and chain link wrist cuffs are adjustable and removable, waists, arms and neck all adjustable. Now the cloak is a unique bat wing shaped perspective made from lightweight black chiffon Cloak connects to the harness at wrists, waist, and back of collar. Lobster buckle at back of neck is removable. Metal zipper on the waist is adjustable. Cloak can be positioned anywhere you like as it attaches via lobster clips. So the cool thing about this is you can make a lot of changes to it and wear it how you want. Um, but yeah, I think it's just a really interesting item to begin with. So you can see her wearing it over this outfit. And if we get some more perspectives from the side, the way it hangs and from the back. And now we've got a pose, and this is probably the pose that sold it to me, because <laughs> I think that's going to be really interesting walking around like that um, for performance, but also like just going around the place. I'm super excited to get out in that style. Now here you can also take off the, the sort of wings of it and just wear the harness. That's what she's demonstrating there. So without the cloak, those components, and then with the cloak, how it attaches, how it looks from the front, and then the back as well and a close-up of that harness and uh, yeah you can see the the way that she's positioned the wrist ones up, up I think up on the arm you can move that around and yeah from the back you can see all the little attachments and then here's some of the details and yeah all, all the removable bits that you've got on it I think that's really cool I love when things are customizable so you can put your own spin on it and incorporate it into your style so yeah, there's a size chart. If I just go back, so this is the basic look that we're going for. So let's move on to the next item, which is the Gothic Mysterious Soul Top. Now it says sold out at the moment as I'm filming this, but it's probably going to come back in stock. So keep checking. It's shipping from China. And yeah, if, if it's not in stock by the time this video goes up, you can always put your name and email address and they'll let you know when it comes back. So if we move to the description, Ladies Gothic Mysterious Soul Top is made from soft stretch knit black fabric, halter neck collar design with two black bead buttons, upper bodice with teardrop opening and sheer chiffon panels, the side. That, that same fabric matches well with the other item. Uh, chest front with delicate lace trim and hand stitch pointed black beads, off the shoulder long sleeves, pleated chiffon lantern sleeve design, cuffs with metal corns and drawstring roping, back with drawstring roping for easy sizing and fit, plus sizing available. So uh, yeah, let's have a closer look at this top. And um, yeah, we've seen some of these images before, but with the harness. So this is what's underneath and from the side. And yeah, it's very different to anything I've got. I don't really have anything with the, those sorts of puffy sleeves. So it's kind of an interesting one for me. Um, here's just the top on its own and from the side and the back. So it's got that sort of corset, you know, style of uh, bringing the back in. Some close up of the details around there. Was with those spikes? Oh my gosh, I think they are. It just didn't click with me that that was there. Um, and the sleeves, and oh, I think that's from, that's around the neck. And yeah, the lacing. So cool. Gonna be really interesting to wear this one. And here's the size chart. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next item. So 
The Military Rocha shorts, I'm not going to go through them here because I've already looked at them in my Night Elf outfit, if you want to have a look at that, but here they are again, and um, I will be trying these on, I've already got them, and they're really great, uh, but I'll try them on with the rest of the outfit, you can see down below, here is my previous review on them, to give you an idea. So let's move on to uh, a variation we're going to do. Here's some leggings that we're going to try, uh, because at the time of filming, it's still a bit cooler in Sydney. So, you know, I was feeling a bit like shorts, maybe not, maybe I need to change this up a little bit. So we're going to try, this is a new product, the Gothic Black and Blood Red Leggings. And I am the small size on this one. So the description, our women's gothic black and blood red leggings are made of high elastic, comfortable black knit fabric with burnt flower velvet mesh cloth. Pretty gothic edging from waistline to ankle, exquisite gothic decal trim along blood red segment, elastic waistband for ease of size and fit, sizes ranging from extra small to 4XL. So, here we go. And my inspiration for choosing this... Um, as an alternative to the shorts is because it has that kind of vampire look and the rest of it, like the bat wings and all that. I'm just feeling the vampire vibes at the moment. And yeah, with those red patterns, I think that's really cool. Um, it's plain from the black, which is fine. That, that works nicely for like sitting down and all that. <laughs> you don't want too much detail on the back, I feel, just so that you can be comfy. But yeah, here's a pose. Now the top is a little bit similar in some ways to the one that we're trying on. Maybe a bit better for winter, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it, it sort of has that similar opening at the top and slightly puffier sleeves. So, you know, it, it kind of all worked in my head. Um, yeah, here's just the item on its own. Oh, close up. It's, <laughs> I really like that red red pattern. And yeah, you've got the gothic details as well. Um, I just, I'm really excited by this. I think it's going to be really fun. And here is the size chart. So yeah, some of the size charts have changed a little bit. So make sure you double check, even if you already know your size, as far as Punk Rave Australia's items, because they do update them from time to time. Next up, let's talk shipping. And so the leggings came from China and I actually opened them in the last video. So if you'd like to go and check that out, but basically it came by DHL and took five days, even with this pandemic stuff going on, it was really fast and I was really impressed. Um, so yeah, that's from the China side of things. Also remember the shorts were sent to me in a previous video video so if you'd like all the information on that please check that video out. As for the rest of today's items they were sent to me via Australia Post and this is Express Post. Keep in mind though that we're in lockdown here in Sydney and so things are taking a little bit longer and it took about five days for this to get to me but during normal times it usually only takes one to two days uh, which is a really good service. So let's just jump right in and open it up. Inside the Express satchel we've got this white satchel. They really like to package things well, which is a little bit of a challenge opening it sometimes, but you know, it's good to make sure everything gets to you safe and sound. Okay. <laughs> Let's open this one first, shall we? As usual, they've got their tissue paper and silica packets, so just watch out for those when you're unwrapping them. All right, so the way that it ships, the harness is separate from the flowy wing section, so uh, I guess we'll have a look at the harness first. All right, so this is really interesting, and it's kind of confusing to look at just with all the straps, but I'll do my best to show you what's going on here. So if we start at the top, you can see around the neck area, the main adjustability comes in these um, ropey bits and yeah so it looks like you can adjust them wider if you need to and then they've got these little backing bits oh I don't know if you can see so well backing bits that go in there so on the inside there's these flaps of material that go over that roping bit so that has the effect of both like you know giving a black backing to that roping section but also it's going to be nicer on your skin I guess not that the roping feels like it's going to be very irritating I mean it is kind of solid and sturdy kind of rope it's not like a soft rope so there's that but it doesn't have any of that coarse scratchy kind of feel but still I think it's a good idea that they've got that flap of material there now at the back of the neck as you can see there's this zipper that goes down the back there and then also this bit where the um, harness attaches right so there's the button and that opens up to make the zipper easier to put on and then you just sort of snap that on there next up we come to the sleeve sections and so they're attached to the neck by two different straps in different styles so this one has those little buckle kind of look but they're, they're not detachable or anything that's just for the look and then there's one that's a solid strap and then you can see here there's the main bit that goes around the sleeve and then there's a tiny 
bit of our shoulder shoulder section. And then at the bottom of that sort of sleeve hole, um, they have an adjustable rope section here as well. There's no backing, but it does let you open it up if you need a bit more space. And so the sleeves are mirrored on both sides. Now coming around to the front, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. You can see there's this attachment for that strappy harness bit from the front, but then it goes into this complicated series of like there's a knot here and then there's a few more of the little um, buckly kinds of bits and they're all sort of threaded together and then there's this loose bit and I think that connects over to this bit um, but yeah I'm going to have to look at the picture just to make sure that I get it right I mean I suppose you could do it however you want to but yeah just looking at it I'm like oh my god it took me a moment to figure out what was going on um, but yeah and so I think also it's like loosely threaded through some of the bits so um, I think you can also adjust the sizing there, which is good because I have very small boobs. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that's what that's designed for, but obviously I have to try it on and it's so hard to show you just because there's so many straps. But yeah, it's like this complicated series and if you sort of shuffle them along, I think that's how you would adjust the size. So yeah, that's going to be interesting to try out. And then there is... There are all these little eyelets, and then at the very end, I've just noticed there's this like actual buckle. Instead of just the, the tr uh, rectangle around it, there's an, an actual little doodad. What do you call those? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's really great to see so much adjustability on there. It's just, yeah, I've got to get my head around exactly how it works. And like, you know, the pre-tied knot is really clever. It's like it slips things really nicely. So I think it's going to be easy. It's just getting my head around it. And then finally at the back, at the bottom of the zipper, you've got these sections here um, that connect to the sleeves and uh, they are not adjustable so they're just for the look so you will be doing most of the adjusting at the front side of this item. And then I've got to not forget these bits so attached here these I think are actually the wristbands and so for the moment they're just sort of attached to that front section but um, I think the idea is you take them off and you connect them to the wing section and put them around your wrists or up your arm if you want to. And yeah so I guess the idea is that you don't lose them in the package so they're attached to the main harness but that's not how you actually wear them although you could if you wanted to. Oh and before I forget so there are a few different kinds of fabric going on here so the main one on the outside is this cracked leather sort of look which we've seen before on some of their items sorry about the lighting I think you can get the kind of gist like that on the inside though the fabric is much smoother um, for your comfort although there's nothing on top of this zipper so keep that in mind if you're sensitive to that kind of thing and then in the sleeve portion on the inside you can see some more of that cracked leather but there's also this and I'm not really sure what it is but it's really cool to look at and with the wristbands you can see more of that cracked leather look and then on the inside it's smooth so let's have a look at the wings next oh my god Gosh, wow, this is amazing. I'm super excited for this one, guys. So I guess the most obvious thing to start with on this one is just this amazing fabric. And yeah, it's that see-through black and it feels really smooth. And um, yeah, I'm excited. And then on the bottom edge, you can see it's got a little bit of a ruffle. So it's not just like a flat fabric. It's actually got a little bit of shaping and like the way that it's cut as well. It's a bit hard to show you, but you can see it sort of um, it, it does have its own little shape, which is nice. God, I need more space to show you. But yeah, it's actually like shaped like a wing, which I think is really impressive. But like they've also done it without turning it into like a Halloween costume. Like, you know, those bat wings where they have the, the little half circles cut out of it and it looks kind of tacky. No, they've actually made this like kind of elegant. It has that wing look, but without looking cheap. And then when I fold it in half, I can actually see like it's not just cut from a flat bit of fabric, I think. Like it's actually got a bit of shaping. If you can see on this end when I pull it out, like it doesn't just hang completely flat. It's got a little bit of a curve in it, which yeah, I, that's impressing me. Like I don't know how you do that. <laughs> And then of course we've got to look at these little things and they're pretty easy to open and close um, and yeah they're all attached on there. It seems like a really easy system to make something customizable. Next up let's look at the top. This one's got bubble wrap in it as well as the usual stuff. Ooh this is really interesting. All right so starting from the top we've got the collar which is this sort of um, thick plain fabric it's got at least two layers in there and then they come around to these two buttons and the two loops and that transitions into this mesh panel and what I didn't really notice on the website so much was this cute little lining across the inside bit it's not on this outside bit but yeah like all those little details I love it and then that comes down into this section at the top of the shirt and yes those are spikes oh my god I love the way that they're placed inside those loopy designs 
Now what's different to your usual spikes, these are not made of metal, I think they're made out of plastic, and they have little holes drilled in them, so they're actually sewn on, they're not like those ones that you have, um, you know, the backing to, so you're not going to have any annoying metal bits on the other side. That said, they still have gone to the effort of putting in a sort of backing there, so yeah, all the extra details. Now the body of the top looks the same as the neck fabric, but it is a little bit different, obviously it's not doubled over, and it does have some stretch in there. And then at the bottom it just ends in a standard seam there. As for the back, so you can see how it's that corsetting style. The roping on the back, it's smooth on one side, and on the other side it has more of a velvety texture. So yeah, even though it's stretchy, they've given you one more way to adjust it that looks pretty cool. And then we come to the sleeves. So at the top you can see it's got this frilly area, and then it goes into the main fabric of the sleeve, which is also see-through. And I think you can see there it has that zigzag sort of texture. Now with the zigzag fabric, that threw me off for a moment because um, when I first touched it I thought, oh, that's not particularly soft, but I think it's just with the raised edges it gave my brain that illusion. Um, so it's not like a heap soft kind of mesh, but it's also not like a harsh one. And then when I put my arm in it, I was just like, oh, that actually is really nice to wear. And I think when I put it like this, you can see more clearly how here it's a little bit tighter and then it comes out into more of this billowy kind of look. And so it's got one seam just underneath there. And then we come down to the cuffs and it's this really nice smooth material and the way that it's doubled over this section it feels really secure and really like it, it just feels nice I don't know how else to say it. And then this has a roping section and so it has the same sort of velvety roping but look at those Look at those little eyelets, they're so cute. They're, they've got that flowery kind of look. I think that's really nice. It's pretty cool how this one has some roping because like that's gonna go along with the theme of the wings because though that has some roping and it, they've also got the sort of see-through meshy fabric. I think it's gonna match really well. Finally, I'll bring you up to the tag section so they've actually included a spare button just in case. All right, last one, let's look at the leggings. Oh, I just noticed the bags are slightly different. So the first two items had this sort of a bag, but the leggings are a new item, so they've come in one that looks more like this. I wonder if they've done that for everything or if it just happens to be these products. Huh. Oh wow, so there's a lot of tissue paper on this one. Come on, I feel like I need to get crafty with all of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so keen for these. So the first thing I noticed taking them out of the bag is the fabric, and on the outside it has that leathery kind of look but on the inside it's actually more of a smooth matte kind of feel and I like that because I'm not too keen on that leathery kind of feeling on my skin I definitely prefer like the way that they've done the inside it's also a really stretchy fabric which is great oh my gosh this detail let me show up close so down the entire length we've got this pattern going which reminds me of that one that's on the top you know I think there's some nice elements that are going to match and then it comes into this really elaborate um, lining, what do you call that? <laughs> My brain's not working today, but this decoration here, it's so elaborate, it's so cool, and then it comes onto that red velvety pattern there. And that pattern is on a dark see-through mesh, and the mesh is stretchy, not as stretchy as the rest of it, but it does have a little bit in there. And that velvety texture, when you run your hand along it, you can actually feel it, you know, that sort of mild furry kind of feel. I think that's really cool. And I just really love this pattern because it makes me think of like a blood spatter kind of thing but without being like too obvious because you don't want to be tacky, right? So it's kind of like an elegant way to allude to a blood spatter. And then something else, right, so you can see how that red is sparkling a little bit. And then you also get the light glinting off the decorations on the outside of that pattern. But also I noticed very subtly in this fabric, if you look closely, there are like little pin pricks of some kind of a glittery look. It's really hard to show you on camera. I don't think it's gonna work because you're getting reflections from everything else. Um, but yeah, occasionally you get like a little glint of something um, embedded in there. I don't know how that's happened, but like I find that really interesting. I don't know if that's like rubbed off from the red or if it's like built into the fabric, but I was looking at it going, oh my gosh, that shines and sparkles too. Probably too subtle to really show anyone around you. Like people aren't going to notice as you're walking around, but like I, I got excited by it. Yeah, I'm really keen for these. We've just come out of winter here in Sydney, so it's still cool weather. Um, so I probably do want to wear leggings if I get the chance to go out. Um, but what's nice is because of that see-through patch, like it's not going to be super warm leggings. If the breeze blows, you will still get a bit, I imagine, through that mesh. And so it sort of strikes me as a good one for that autumn-spring changeover period between the cold and the hot. 
Oh, that's cute. I just noticed with this decoration, so the ends of these patterns, they actually come off the thing so they can poke out a little bit and it sort of brings them to life a bit more instead of just being flat stuck onto the legging. I think that's an interesting design. And so I'm also going to be trying on these shorts but I won't go into them in detail. Um, remember you can watch that other video that I made previously but I'll just give you a quick look around it so you can see what we're going for. All right, so that's an initial look at all the items we're gonna be trying on today. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really fun. They feel nice too, which is important. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get dressed. We'll try them on, we'll do a twirl, and uh, then we'll have a chat about it. All right, so I've got the outfit on, but as you can hear in the background, maybe there's a lot of noise today. So I thought I'd come close to talk to you before we go back and do some twirls. Um, I'm gonna put size charts for both myself and also the items in the corners, so check them out. They're also gonna change when I'm wearing the leggings versus the shorts. Also, I'm sorry, the background's not ideal. It's just the way that the lighting is today and the space I have available to me, but I hope you'll be able to see all the details and uh, let's get to it. So now that we've tried everything on, let's have a talk about it all and we'll start off with size. So overall, I've got to say the size of everything fit me really nicely. Those size charts are really accurate. So the top, absolutely fine, no issues with that. And then the leggings were absolutely perfect as well. Um, the one thing to talk about with size though is <laughs> this harness cape. So as I mentioned when we were going through everything, um, there are a lot of adjustments that you can make. But I will say one thing is it's like the extra small to small size and I fit all the measurements. But I am a little bit smaller in some areas. That didn't cause me any huge issues. But one thing is I am a little bit limited in how I customize how I wear this. Um, if you remember in the website, so the model was wearing these wrist cuffs up on her arm at one point. And for me, I guess it's not really a sizing thing, but rather the shape of my body. Um, I tried it up here and it doesn't work for me. Um, now I did have to widen it a little bit to get it all the way up here but what I noticed is because of the shape of my arm like it doesn't have any like extra bulges along so um, it's basically the widest up here and then it tapers down towards my my wrist and so that means um, yeah when I put it up here on that wider setting it kind of just slides down anyway um so you can only for my body shape it can only stay up there for a short amount of time and i just thought yeah that doesn't really work for me i mean maybe i could get it if i did it really tight i could get it to stay above my elbow bone um but yeah i kind of just thought no i'm gonna stick to the wrist and the wrists also mean that you get this whoosh factor without having to grab this um, if you have if you have that bit further up it means that if you want the full wing thing you do have to hold it like that so yeah that's one of the reasons why I only show you um, how I'm wearing it at the wrist because for my body type it just doesn't really work out there and then also the way that I like to wear it so that's one thing with sizing um, if you do have a bit more muscle compared to me I think you might be able to actually get it to stay there but yeah with my size and my shape it just didn't work out that way 
Now some minor things about the sizing of it, when I put the, the neck bit on, um, I did tighten it up, but I've still got heaps of space around there. So um, if you're worried about any kind of choking feelings, you are absolutely not going to get that problem. I would be very surprised if you managed that, especially given that these can expand out and I've actually tightened mine. Now I'm happy with the tightness I did get, um, but the reason I tightened it instead of leaving it on the settings they already had it at was just because it felt a little bit too loose at that at that width so yeah um but once i brought it into the tightest setting it feels really good it feels nice it feels like it's sitting the way that it's supposed to and finally the thing that i was least sure about in terms of sizing was this front harness strap um it took me a few goes to figure out exactly how to wear it and um i did make the mistake of undoing the knot thinking oh maybe i can tie a better knot which i probably shouldn't have because it took me a long time to figure out how to tie it up again in a way that i liked um so yeah that's something to note about but if you have a look along the side right so I ended up having to do it on the tightest setting and like I just I don't know how much it's supposed to be like hugging you um I guess I tend to think of harnesses as being something that should be tight but on the other hand even on the tightest setting like it's still loose but the way that it sits is really nice um I don't think it would have worked if it was any looser than this um and you might have noticed when I was doing the twirl without the wings um you can see it on the back the way that I've done I, I've laced it up through the zipper part um, where the zip part meets those extra bits on the back um, whereas on the website I'm pretty sure what she's doing is she's just going from here straight across the back instead of doing that zigzag and I think doing that zigzag for me is actually what made it fit better because it did take up a little bit extra of that slack so um, yeah that's one way that you can handle it and then another thing is when I realized that it doesn't have to be super tight like you can have that extra space and it still looks good I did consider maybe I shouldn't do that little zigzag through the zip a bit but when I looked at it in the mirror I was like no actually I like that star that's going on there instead of having like the one and then the line I was like no let's do the five pointed star I think that's really fun so you know you know how I love customizability and for me that just kind of worked both from a sizing and design perspective I almost forgot to mention so with this when you've got excess it kind of just dangles there but like I forgot about it because I just didn't notice it you know it, it doesn't bother me at all um, but if that's something that annoys you, if you're on the smaller side, that does happen, so something to be aware of. So overall with this outfit, I got a size that worked for me. It's just that I can't put it up on those arms and make it work. It didn't work with my body shape, but it still fits with the design of what I want. And I think this is really cool. Oh my gosh, look at me guys, I have wings. Gosh, I was so excited about the wings that I forgot to tell you about the adjustments on the shirt. So um, I did tie up that little corset bit on the back of the shirt a little bit. Um, and yeah, it fits really nicely. And then with the wrists, so I did them at the tightest setting. Um, and you've still got this wiggle room, so it's not uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I, like my wrists are small, remember? Um, so anyone who's larger than me, I think you'll have no problems. Like that can expand. And then if you notice there, was uh this mesh bit does have an opening before it goes there so like you can get that extra space if you need it so yeah that's the size and the fit i think it works really nicely um now in terms of fabric i guess we don't need to worry about the wings in terms of fabric because it's all on the outside of my body so we talk about the top so it's really comfy like this fabric that they've used for the main body feels really nice and as i said before when we were opening things up like this actually feels really nice to wear i was super surprised by that and the way that the cuff is it's really comfy now the leggings are super comfy as well. Um, I will say when I was pulling them on, um, the smooth bit is amazing. Like I've had the leggings before and it's that same kind of feeling and it's really nice. With that mesh bit, initially putting it on um, as it comes across your skin, it does feel a bit like, oh, what's this then? But once you've got it on and you've been wearing it for a while, you don't really feel it at all. So yeah, as usual, Punk Rave Australia has done really well with the fabric. I'm always impressed with their choices because um, I am someone who is a little bit picky about fabric and it's just amazing to be able to try things on like I used to go to shops and try on both gothic styles of clothing and also like mainstream clothing and sometimes it was really hard to find things with fabric that I like but yeah Punk Rivers Gel I'm super impressed that I can wear so much of their stuff and not have issues. Now in terms of how it looks you've seen me wear it with both the shorts and the leggings and I've got to say my personal favorite is to try it on with the leggings. Um, the shorts are great and will be great for summer when things get a little bit hotter and I need to cool down a bit but in terms of that 
vampire theme. I just thought the leggings, like, they're amazing. They have that moody vibe and then also the sort of blood splatter vibe, but while still being, like, a little bit more classy, I guess. Whereas the shorts have more of a punk feeling, which it does work with this, but I feel like less of the punk, more of the goth just complements this all really nicely. Of course, each item on their own I think are really interesting. They look really great and you're going to be able to mix and match so many things. I mean, you've already seen me try it in a few different ways. Now, something I've only just noticed looking at myself in the camera here is um, the way that the top and the harness complement each other. So with this, at least in terms of the way that I'm wearing it, um, these little shoulder bits have kind of connected into the sleeve to make it look more like one piece. Keep in mind, though, that's got to do with how I'm wearing it. Um, I think this is meant to be more of an off-the-shoulder kind of feel, uh, but I'm not used to off-the-shoulder and the elastic, like, for me, wearing it like that, I, it, I just become too aware of that elastic, like, it's kind of tight to be able to hold into your shoulder and I didn't even realize like as I've been walking around it sort of just slid up my shoulder like even like that I didn't even need to pull it up so I think for me like I'm not really going to be wearing it off the shoulder style um that's just not really me um and it also is not the way that my body seems to want to move it around it just lets it creep all the way up um but what that does is when I've got that sleeve over it makes it look much more seamless which is really interesting the way that two different pieces can change each other now one thing that doesn't work so well between them is, remember we've got these spikes here, it's a little bit hard to see, but so this thing coming down the middle actually interferes with this center spike here. So at the moment it's tending to go a little bit off center, but um, yeah, that's a little bit of a clash there. It doesn't affect how it feels to wear it though, so that's good. And I guess the last major thing to talk about is the practicality. So for me, obviously, the shorts are going to be really great, really practical in summer. The leggings are going to be really great, really practical in cooler weather. Not super cold because you do have that open panel um, but yeah in the weather that we've got in Sydney at the moment I think they're really great they're really comfortable the top is where things start to get a little bit less practical and I say that just because of the way that the sleeves slip around for me although for some of you that's not going to be a problem at all it's just me and my my tiny wrist it's also not going to be as impractical as if you had flared sleeves going on um, you do have this roping which might get in the way of doing stuff um, but it does slip up easily at least on me so like if I'm going to be washing my hands I can just slip it back like that and it's not going to get everything wet but the main thing in terms of practicality that you've got to consider are these wings for one thing they're quite long so I would recommend if you're my height or shorter that you wear some platform boots you also do want to be aware of these wing tips when you're wearing it because um, they're quite long as well and when I'm standing without platforms they also touch the floor and then just as you're going about your day doing things like because that is a lot of dangling fabric you just need to be aware of it so that you don't get snagged on anything or accidentally step on it like as I'm sitting here they touch the ground and so I've got to be careful every time I stand up that I don't step on them by accident. And then I also found it a little bit tricky in terms of putting things on. So with the zipper at the back, if you're going to be putting this on by yourself, um, you want to sort of be able to touch your hands behind your back like this. Um, I think if you're able to do that, then you should have no problems getting that zipper on because it is quite a way to reach and to try and get things to, to like at the bottom is where they snap together. And then you've got to reach behind and pull the zip up. And if you don't have that flexibility, you might need to get a friend or someone to help you pull it all the way up. Another thing that's tricky is with this chain when you're putting the wrist straps on, um, doing that one handed is a little bit difficult. Um, you can just get the little chain link and sort of try and slide it onto that top bit there. And that's what I found the easiest to be able to get it on. But yeah, if you don't have that coordination that might be a bit tricky and another thing that you might want to get a friend to help you with. What was surprising for me is that when I put the wings on, I actually put the harness on first and then clipped the wings on and it's really easy because that triangle is just there so that's really easy, it doesn't need much flexibility at all. So you can put the harness on and then put the wings on later, you don't have to connect everything first and then put it on. No, it's really easy to just put that on afterwards. And then as I said before, I also um, undid this knot and then tried to put it back together and just got myself super confused and I was looking up on the internet like how to tie a nice knot and in the end I just did a very basic knot and pulled it tight and actually works really nice so don't overthink this knot if you want to change it around. I mean if you know how to do nice knots um, go for it but what I found worked was just a really basic one. It ended up having this nice little triangle kind of shape. Now I did fiddle with it a bit to try and make it sit that way instead of being all twisted. Oh yeah if you are 
are going to be retying the knot. Like there's a little, that little thing where it goes through, um, you have to take it out and then weave it back in. So that's another thing that you have to do that's kind of annoying. But yeah, so I would say unless you've got a specific idea in mind, maybe don't undo that knot. Just leave this alone. I also did make things a little bit trickier for myself by doing that little zigzag through the zip um, in that, that strap at the back. Um, so you do want to be able to like reach back like that to be able to pull that off. Now maybe the last fiddly thing with wearing the harness is when you're putting it on on this side, um, that's where the buckle is. You want to be able to get your arm back like this to be able to do it up, uh, which is a little bit tiring if you're fiddling around for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there are a few things about this harness that might be easier to do if you have someone with you or if you have the flexibility to pull it off. So yeah, overall, the least practical, least easy one to put on are the wings. But once you get them to work, they're a lot of fun. I will say though, when I was walking around the house, just getting my impressions together of this outfit, um, mum did say when she saw me with this, oh, it's not Halloween yet. So there will be some people who see it as a Halloween thing rather than just a this is how I am kind of thing. Um, so that's important to be aware of. But it is, I think, um, just classier than your regular like bat wing things that you sometimes see in some costumes. Anyway, so I think that's all I've got to say about this outfit. Um, it looks really good. It's really fun. I'm really happy with it. It feels really comfortable and the sizes fit me really well. There are a few things that are a little bit tricky with the harness, but it's worth it to get that look going on. I also really love the customizability and also the mix and match things that we've tried. I do prefer the leggings over the shorts for this particular outfit, but both are really great items. Oh my god, I really love this van vampire look that we've got going on today. Um, really moody and spooky. I feel like I should chuck in my fangs and go out terrorizing the neighborhood. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with this outfit. The size, the fit, the fabric, the quality, the way that it looks and feels to wear it. Um, it's just really, I love how dramatic it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's really fun and I really want to thank Punk Rave Australia for sending all these items for me and also letting me change it up from the shorts to the leggings. If you'd like to buy any of today's items, they're going to be putting on a 20% discount and that applies automatically. You don't have to put in any discount codes or anything. And it also applies to each item individually. So you don't have to buy the whole set. You can buy one, you can buy two, you can buy all of them. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do give us a like and also consider subscribing to my channel and also the Punk Rave Australia channel. My channel is a bit more chaos. We've got the fashion, but we've also got music and vlogs. Um, the Punk Rave Australia channel is just the fashion. If you have any feedback, please leave us a comment, including let us know which one you prefer, whether you prefer the shorts or the leggings. And if you know anyone who's into this style, please do share the video with them. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time when we do more of a serpentine punk kind of style which I think will be really interesting. See you later guys! Oh!